Wise and wandered, stared outside, looked up in wonder, points of light moving through. Thank you so much. Today, I want to talk about uh, what I've learned over the last year in my work as a songwriter and performer about the connections that we make with one another, about how and for what purpose we make those connections. And this lesson started for me in living rooms and backyards all over the country, and it culminated in a viral Facebook video that was watched by millions around the world. So let's start with the living rooms. As an independent artist, I have spent years searching for my place in the musical universe, and a few years ago, that search landed me in an unexpected place, and for the last uh, four years, the main way in which I have shared my music with audiences has been through house concerts. Um, my husband Jamie and I just finished our fourth summer house concert tour, uh, in which we did nearly 70 concerts all over the United States, every show hosted by somebody who supports my music in their living room or their backyard. It was magical. And uh, house concert touring has been the most fulfilling and connective way that I have uh, ever done music with people before. Last summer, on our 2014 summer tour, we noticed an interesting thing happening. Many nights after a show, there would be somebody waiting for a quiet moment to talk with me. And then when we talked, they would share with me some difficult thing that they were dealing with in their lives. Can I tell you about how I'm battling breast cancer right now? Can I tell you about how my husband left me two weeks ago? Can I tell you about how I've struggled with depression since I was 15? Why? Why would these people feel compelled to show me, a relative stranger, somebody that they'd only met earlier that night, the most vulnerable parts of themselves? And the reason that I came up with was this. Perhaps because they had just watched me give a vulnerable performance in front of an intimate group of people, Perhaps they'd felt that they had really seen me. And maybe because of that experience, they wanted me 
to see them as well. And so I learned that a fundamental element of how we make connections with one another is when we allow our genuine selves to be seen by one another. And that set me on my journey. I wanted to explore in my songwriting how we make connections with one another. And so I set about writing an album around that idea, and I called it Connections. Pretty good title, right? A big theme in the album is telling our stories to one another. And um, sometimes that means telling the parts of our stories that are more difficult to talk about out loud. And the next song that I want to do for you is an example of that. It's a, a, one of the first songs that I wrote for the album. It's called I Know, I Know. And this is a song about empathy. This is a song about listening to somebody share their deepest, darkest stuff. And then being able to access a place in your own heart where you can say to them, ah, I understand you because I've been there too. And so when we were getting ready to put together a music video for this song, I thought this could be an interesting opportunity to provide a platform for many people to share their stories with the hope that when we put it online for the world to see that whoever saw us, no matter what struggle they were going through in their own life, that perhaps they would see our stories, make a connection with us, and feel a little bit less alone. And so I asked my community to participate in this project. I asked them to do something very brave. I asked them to take a Sharpie pen to a piece of paper and to write on that piece of paper some struggle they had been through in their life, some challenge they had faced. And then I asked them to take that piece of paper and hold it up to a video camera for 10 whole seconds. We received courageous and beautiful stories, submissions for this project. Here are their stories. Come sit right here, tell me everything. Start from the beginning, let it all pour out. I will catch your story in my wings. This is the beginning of all that we cry out for you. I know, I know, I know, I know how it feels 
I'm very wonderful. When we put that video online, uh, on Facebook in particular, it went viral, which is something that's never happened to us before. But I think it happened in this case because there were a lot of people out there who saw our stories and who connected with us. As soon as the video was online, I started to get messages from people. Uh, it was hundreds and hundreds of messages from people from all over the world who had seen themselves in our stories and who wrote to me to tell me that. And in many cases, they also wrote to share their own story with me, presumably because they'd found a safe place to do that. And I don't know that I really understood before this experience just how many people out there, and potentially, for that matter, how many people here today are hurting. And sometimes in a really alone kind of way, because we are all so good at staying all buttoned up and putting the pretty face out for the world to see, aren't we? I know that in some of the darkest times of my life, I was an all-star at putting the I'm fine face out for everybody to see, meanwhile feeling more alone, more isolated, which was exactly the opposite of what I needed at that time in my life. And so this experience really opened my eyes to the breadth of struggle in our world. And I found myself wanting to reach through the computer screen and give everybody who'd written to me a giant hug. Being unable to do that, I, I found myself instead writing a lot of the same kinds of words to them over and over. And those words became the inspiration for the last song that I want to do for you today. And I'm telling you the story because I, I had said these words to people who had written to me, but I'm also saying it to you here today. First of all, we need for you to stay alive. And it turns out that that's a difficult thing for some of us to do at some times in our lives. And secondly, we need for you to show up in your life. Because you have something to contribute to this world that nobody but you can contribute. And without it, the rest of us are missing something. We are incomplete without you. And this thing that you have to contribute, it might not even be despite the pain and the struggle that you've been through in your life. Perhaps it's even because of those experiences that this is the thing that you have to offer. I'm so grateful for the conversations I got to have with these people who'd written to me because they taught me this one important lesson that for me brought full circle all the ideas I'd been exploring on the songs for connections. And it's this one simple idea. If you could imagine for yourself right now in your mind a strand of lights, like Christmas lights or market lights at a cafe. One bulb on that strand that you're now imagining in your mind doesn't light up by itself, does it? It has to be connected to the strand to give light. And I think the same is true for us. We each have a light that we are meant to shine in this world. And we get the strength to do that when we tell our stories to one another when we allow our genuine selves to be seen by one another, when we are meaningfully connected with one another. On this past summer's tour, I asked thousands of people at our house concerts this question. What is your light? What is the thing that you are meant to contribute to this world? As I play this last song, you're gonna see just a handful of their responses behind me. And I hope that as you watch, you'll be inspired to discover the light inside of you and to reach out for the strength and the connections that you need to let it shine. This is Constellation. Staring at the 